Let's find the zeros of some functions that you need to factor first. So if I look at number five here, this is the quadratic form. You have three terms, you have an x to the fourth, an x squared, and a constant term. And if you can find factors of minus 20 that add up to minus one, you can factor this. And minus five and four will do that for you. So this will factor as x squared minus five, x squared plus 4. And then to find the zeros, I need to set each factor equal to 0 and solve for x. So this will give me x squared equals 5. And when I take the square root of both sides, I'm going to get plus or minus radical 5. And when I set this equal to 0, I'm going to get x squared equals minus 2. And when I take the square root of both sides, I'm going to get x is equal to plus or minus i radical 2. So these are my four zeros for this one. This problem, you had four terms and you probably decided to factor it by grouping. So if I group the first two and the last two terms, I can factor an x cubed out of the first group, leaving me an x plus one. And out of the second grouping, I can factor out a minus x, which will also leave me an x plus one. So this factors as x cubed minus x times x plus 1. Well, I can still factor an x out of here. So if I do that, I'm going to get x times x squared minus 1 times x plus 1. But look, this is a difference of squares. So this piece will, fix, will factor as x plus 1 times x minus 1. So you're going to have these four factors. And when you set them equal to 0 and solve for x, you're going to get 0, you're going to get minus 1 twice, and you're going to get plus 1. And those will be your four factors. Let's solve two more. Here's another one you can factor um, using the quadratic form. And your factors of minus 7 that add up to minus 6 are going to be minus 7 and plus 1. So this will factor x squared minus 7, x squared plus 1. When you set these equal to 0 and solve for x, you're going to get x is equal to plus or minus radical 7 for this piece, and you're going to get x is equal to plus or minus i for this piece. Number 8, you're going to factor by grouping since there's four terms. So out of this first pair, you'll be able to factor out an x squared, leaving you x plus 4. And out of this second pair, you'll factor out a minus 2, which will leave you x plus 4. This means that this factors as x squared minus 2 times x plus 4. And when I set each factor equal to 0 and solve for x, this piece will give me minus 4, and this piece will give me plus or minus the square root of 2. 